The fastest ways to get your online business going. Starting an online business nowadays seems to be a great idea if you are an entrepreneur. When you consider the startup costs of a business online versus the startup costs over a brick and mortar business, you will find that the actual cost to start an internet business is much less than any other brick and mortar opportunity that you could figure. Usually, the problem with setting up and starting your own e business is deciding when and where to start. You begin to ask yourself questions such as, is the business plan the same as it is for brick and mortar businesses? What type of qualifications will I need? If there are things that I can't do on the technical end, how do I get them done? What products or services will I sell or offer? As far as I know, there is no shortcut in putting together a business plan. I don't believe that a business plan for a network marketer is as complex as that of a brick and mortar venture. However, you must have a plan if you're going to succeed at any level of business. It's very important to start as quickly as possible on your internet business. So, do not be fearful of the technical qualifications needed to have an online business, you'll learn as you go along. And also be mindful that many tasks can be outsourced and if you plan to put up your own website that might be worth taking a look at. As I mentioned earlier outsourcing can help you get free you want to go quicker. So if you're really concerned about the technical end of the business I would suggest you learn as much as you can, but don't fret you can get help from different forms and from different places all over the internet, I would definitely suggest taking a look at some of the video sharing site and some of the niche forums and online business forums. My favorite is the Warrior Forum, there's a lot of information you can get from there. For any idea you might have there's a forum or video sharing site that has content on it. Just type in your Google search bar what you're interested in learning. With more and more people getting on the internet to do business and the world wide web is being trusted by more consumers than ever. So don't wait to start your business online to it today, it's a great opportunity. Let's examine a few quick and low cost ways to get your online business started. Point 1. Be an affiliate. Affiliate programs are great for starting out online as your business grows, you might decide that you would like to actually own your own products, but for right now, let's take a look at the advantages of being an affiliate. As an affiliate, you can choose to sell some of the most popular products on the web. You don't have to build a new website, handle refunds, or customer service. Your biggest concern isn't affiliate is to simply drive traffic to your affiliate link and to make sure that it's tracked properly so that you get credit for the sale. Point 2. Sale Master Resale Rights Products Master Resale Rights Products are products that you can purchase and it extends the right for you not only sale, but also sale resale rights and sometimes master resale rights to your clients. There are many of these type of products all over the internet and some actually come with their own websites set up so you would not have to worry about developing a web scheme for the product you cannot take credit as author for the published product, but, you get to sell a product that you didn't have to invest a lot of time into producing, how sweet is that? 3. Sale products with private label rights These are great products to own and sale, because you can do everything that you do with master resale rights products however, the products are yours to do with as you please. If you wish to take total credit as author of an ebook or publisher of software, you can do that and you can sell those products and offer any type of resale rights that you wish. Point 4. Sale domain names, domain flipping. Note this one is very interesting. It may cost you a little money, but it's not expensive. If you don't know what domain flipping is, well, this is how it goes. You purchase a domain name that you think others would have interest in. You don't create any sort of website or anything like that you just own the domain. Now you are able to either solicit offers by email or roads through a broker to sell the domain. When you begin domain flipping always remember that the most reasonable price is whatever the customer wants to pay. If you have a price in mind or a set price is best to ask that price up front outside of that domain name sale for whatever the market will bear. I suggest to you whatever niche you should happen to go in to make sure it's something that you have a passion for and really enjoy.